Hey everyone, it's Amy, and in today's video we will be making these super cute gingerbread men cookies. So you're going to start off by beating half a cup of unsalted butter. You want to beat this until it is smooth and creamy. It should look something like this. And now you're going to add half a cup of brown sugar. And just beat that in until it is well combined. Now you're going to crack in one egg along with half a cup of molasses. Make sure to grease your measuring bowl so that it is not all stuck in there like mine was. Now you're just going to beat that in until it is well combined. Soon enough it should look something like this. Now you're going to add your spices, which is one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of ginger, a quarter teaspoon of cloves, and you're going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt. Next, you're going to add two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So first, I use my mixer to mix this in. And it turned out to be something like this, so I decided to stop using my mixer. And I just put some flour on my hands and just kind of massage the dough into one ball. Now I just place the dough onto a piece of parchment paper. And then you're just going to flatten it into a disc shape, but first I added some more flour so it wouldn't stick to my hands. Now you're just going to cover it up with the parchment paper and you're just going to place it in the fridge for about two hours by placing mine there overnight. So this is the next morning and here is the dough. It's nice and firm and ready to go. So I'm just dusting my workspace with some flour. Now you're going to roll out the dough to about 1 8 inch thick. Soon enough it should look something like this and now you're going to use your cookie cutters to cut out the shapes. I'm using a gingerbread man cookie cutter a star cookie cutter, a Christmas tree cookie cutter, and a candy cane cutter, a mitten cutter, and just a bunch of different Christmas themed cookie cutters. So now I took the leftover dough and I just flattened it into a disc again and wrapped it back up in the parchment paper. You can place this dough in the fridge for about another two to three days or you can freeze it in your freezer for a couple of weeks and then you can use it again to make more cookies. So now you want to bake the gingerbread cookies at 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius for about 8 to 10 minutes. So now we're going to make the frosting. So this is really simple. I have one cup of powdered sugar. I added half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of milk. You can add more or less milk depending on the consistency that you want. So now I'm just using a whisk to just mix this all together. And I am transferring the finished glaze into a piping bag. Now you can just do whatever designs you want on your cooled cookies. Here I'm just doing a really simple gingerbread man design. And for candy canes, I'm just doing the little stripes. You can also add food coloring to your icing if you want to do that. So 
So here are the finished gingerbread cookies. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys can try it out and have a happy holidays. See you next time. Bye.